Here's a transfer of the Caribbean in the late 1960s. built the frame and I want to show you on the end of this uh, 8020 there's a hole and you can tap that hole out uh, to 5 sixteenths 18 without even drilling it 5 16th 18 threads per inch so today I'm going to show you how to build uh, the take-up reel which is uh, right over here this is the take-up reel here and uh, I'm going to show you the pieces and the components that uh, make so that up. there's the reel there this is going to be a permanent installation uh, because the take up reel you don't really need to change. It doesn't matter whether you're using 8 or Super 8 film. Um, just got a brass nut and a large washer so I can get a little bit more pressure on there so it doesn't slip. And let's come around and take a look around the back on the on the side of it here. Oh, and you'll see we got um, the components here. There is a brass piece of brass. I think it's about a quarter inch thick. And then there's a stainless steel bolt and washer there. And then there's a, uh, I'll take this off and show you here. And there's a piece of copper there and there's a locking nut. So let me go ahead and take this apart. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just loosen this nut up here. Pretty, just much, pretty much hand tight. And then the large washer. There's the reel. This is the only custom part that I made here. Um, go ahead and undo this. This is just a brass piece of brass with a, a V-groove cut in it for the belt and a little relief there. I didn't really measure this, kind of just eyed it up, but you can see the V-groove and it's threaded on the inside there. And so it tightens up on this bolt here. So let's take this off. Um, I do have a standoff to raise it up a little bit. That's just so the belt doesn't run into this edge right over here. So maybe I'll come up with something better. I'm just using a piece of plastic right now. So, and you can see I have, oops, I have this slot here. That's so you can adjust this forward and backward to get it where you want. Now let's go over to the bench and I'll take it apart and show you the insides. Here's some more of the Caribbean, some rough seas. Okay, so you've probably already seen, this was the custom part. This is just a threaded piece of brass with a V-groove. And uh, let me measure that. I got the vernier calipers here. Zero that out. So the rough diameter is one inch. There you go. Roughly one inch. And the inside of the groove is 0.815. And again, I just just use the 60 degree cutter and cut that groove out in there. Okay, so then so the parts are pretty simple here. Just these are the, you know, um, uh, skateboard bearings. It's just standard skateboard bearings. I think they've got a 0 .32 hole on the outside, 0 .861 on the outside. There's, these are standard. These are like the most common bearings. You can get eight of them for a buck on Amazon or whatever. So I'm using two of those, a piece of threaded rod, and I'm using this um, three-quarter inch. This is a coupler. Um, just a copper coupler and then this is a insert which you can put a half inch in here so if you just wanted to couple this and what I do what I've done is I've shoved that in the center of here I've also cut it down to size a little bit now you could probably just go with the full length but I just cut mine down a little bit copper is not the easiest to cut I did that on the mill and just shave the top of it off and so what you do is you smash that in the center right there just so the face of that bearing is flush god i'm doing this so clumsy so it's flush and then just so the back one was kind of flush too given the spacer that's why i did it like that okay so then with that uh, spacer in there that allows the outside of the bearing uh, 
to kind of rust against there and then the inside is free to spin. Then I've just got, like I said, the bolt and I've got a, a nylon locking nut. These are uh, 5 16 18 thread per inch and I got a washer on the back. So the way the whole thing goes together is you put your bearing here. That bearing is a little beat up. And then you put this bearing here. And then you tighten this up. And that relief is just so that uh, this doesn't uh, bang on to the, uh, the copper there. Put that on there. And then your reel goes on there. And like I said the large washer and the, the, uh, the nut there that holds it on. And then again the final part, back to the base here. This will go, this goes on here like this. Um, and you have the adjustment to get your reel just right. Uh, so made that on the mill. Um, just a piece of brass I had laying around and I slotted it and then I soldered it to that uh, copper there. Uh, so that makes a pretty good mount there. Show you, that, you know, this is the drive belt here um, that drives the take-up reel. Uh, and to change the uh, tension of the, the belt, um, all you do is you uh, loosen that bolt up and you can slide this mechanism either forward or backwards, which will give you the correct tension on this belt. And this belt does slip just so you know, so you don't want to drive it solid because otherwise it'll put undue uh, tension. But uh, with this adjustment, you can give it just the correct amount of slip. That's a take-up reel and uh, how I'm driving it. And in the next videos, I'll be showing you more the motor and uh, uh, the electronics. Uh, so there'll be quite a few more videos in the series. Thanks for watching. 